everyone, this is Otami Matsuoka from Picari School Art Gallery. Today, I want to introduce our wonderful artist, Yuko Iwase. These traditional Japanese ink painting style artworks are created by Yuko, and we cannot miss her original unique character inside this. Yeah, so here it is. Can you see it? The form something looks like marshmallow rabbit or something really cute character. Yeah, you can see. So before we call Yuko here, let me share her bio to you. She was born in 1988 and now based in Tokyo. She studied how to create comic and animation at Kyoto Seika University and that experience helps her to create artworks as an artist right now. Not only that, in her childhood, she spent a rich time surrounded by nature, and that's become one of the important points to understand her artwork too. Since she started her life as an artist in 2016, she took a part in a lot of exhibitions in Japan. For example, Tokyo Metropolitan Art Museum, which is located at Ueno, the important culture spot for Tokyo. She held her solo exhibition for eight times already, and that's quite a lot, thanks to her hard work. All of the locations are cafes or galleries, and those venues have a relaxing atmosphere. When Yuko has to choose an exhibition venue, she always checks how the exhibition venue is easy to access for visitors and what kind of comfortable mood exists there. To make sure that visitors can enjoy her exhibition with no stress. Recently, she held an online lifestyle solo exhibition which allows people to enjoy it even if they cannot access the gallery, and that makes people excited. So now, so now, I would like to invite such a wonderful artist Yuko Iwase for today's guest. And to make sure what she is trying to tell you, I will put uh, English subtitles from this iPad, so then you can understand more clearly what she is trying to share you. So let me set this iPad in the best position. Okay, so here it is. So hi Yuko! Hi! My name is Yuko Iwase. Thanks for watching this video. I create my artwork in Japan and I would like to share my painting overseas today. My English is not fluent, but I will try my best to share the concept as an artist. Thanks, Yuko. I'm pretty excited today to know about your artworks more deeply. So then, I would like you to introduce this wonderful artwork series, Japan Bonsai Fairy Art. Japan Bonsai Fairy Art is my new series, which I started from 2019. I drew a tree which was inspired by bonsai, the special traditional genre to grow small trees in Japan. Okay, so let me share these bonsai photos to everyone, the screen of the result of Google image search. Maybe yeah, people already know what bonsai is, but just in case, I would like to share clearly what you could get inspiration. So look this tree, like unique shape and so on. Now you can understand what is bonsai and what she get inspired and draw these unique form, form trees also. Yep, so... The, this is what you get inspired, right? Yes, it is. Thanks, Utami. Besides a tree I draw with inspiration from bonsai, a tiny fairy exists. Tree and fairy are painted by Japanese ink and watercolor. Drawing trees, grasses, all of the nature's are my artist's origin. I spent my childhood in the countryside in Japan. 
So it was natural to have a deep relationship with nature. Even if at present, I feel comfortable when nature surrounds me, and also it's fun to draw those elements. So let me introduce what kind of place Yuko grew up. Yuko is from Toyama Prefecture. It is located more than the north side of Japan from Tokyo. It takes around 3 hours from Tokyo by bullet train. People can catch a lot of seafood, huge mountains exist in the area, and you will be surprised to see the rich rural landscape. When she was a child, she loved to find animals at paddy fields, make a ship by leaf and shed it to the river and also enjoyed uh, creating the secret base at the school forest and playing there. That's why luxury and rich nature exist in Yuko's art. Okay Yuko, sorry to interrupt you. Please continue your wonderful presentation. No problem. Thanks to your information sharing. So. Since I've drawn a lot of motifs, I asked myself, what do I want to draw? And focus on my true feeling. In the end, this series, Japan Bonsai Fairy Art, has got a pause. Wow, that's so interesting. So, this is your new art series, Japan Bonsai Fairy Art. Could you share with us the details of the artwork? Sure. Then I would like to introduce one of my artwork from Japan Bonsai Fairy Art, which you have, which you have now. The theme of this painting is symbiosis. Actually, this is a, the ah uh, sorry. Actually, this is the theme of the whole series of Japan Bonsai Fairy Art. This is a very important concept for me. The tree and the fairy, both of these visuals are totally different, but they are living in a peaceful mood together. Exactly, exactly. Look at this fairy face. Can you see it? So I keep closer. Yeah, can you see it? So it's so sweet and easy to know that this is, it is enjoying a calm atmosphere of nature. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. So I express the rich texture of the tree and small fairy by using Japanese ink and royal color. Japanese ink has no color, so you can only get the information of tree texture from darkness and brightness. I believe that those expressions make the tree's impression stronger. Instead of that, I put more color to the fairy, which makes it easier to focus on it even if it's totally smaller than a tree. Yeah, it is. And the color contrast between this old tree and soft look fairy gives us many imagination of these two personalities. Oh, thank you. I'm happy to hear that. The unique form of the tree in the painting, I got uh, inspiration from Japan bonsai art, as I told you. There's a lot of Japanese ink wash painting which draws landscape, plants, animals in a traditional style. But I tried to match those traditional style with cute characters with song often in Japanese anime, manga, comics. Those characters have a different atmosphere from the tree drawn in Japanese ink wash painting texture. And that brings people to enjoy a new style of ink 
in cross painting. Combination of a uh, shape of a uh, meandering tree and walking fairy is my favorite point of this series. Wow, your episode gives me a deep impression and gives me a clear eye to enjoy your artwork series with deep sense. And I thought why you can do this kind of wonderful challenge is because you studied how to create comic and animation, the new genre of creation at Kyoto, the area which ancient history exists in Japan. Yeah, so thanks again, Yuko. It was a wonderful presentation. Thanks to you too for this time opportunity. I'm looking forward to holding my exhibition overseas in the future. Definitely. Okay, Yuko, then see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so thanks for watching our artist presentation video. We're looking for the chance to hold her exhibition overseas and looking forward to the offer and order made project and so on. If you feel interested in Yuko Iwase's art, please contact us, Picaresco Art Gallery. And also, you can purchase her artwork even if you are not living in Japan. This original painting price is 15,000 Japanese yen, excluding tax. If you are on the earth, no problem. We accept two-way payments. 1. Using online credit card payment, which accepts Visa, MasterCard, American Express, JCB, Dinos Club, Discover Card. We use the service Square for this. Or you can send money to our bank account in Japan, but you have to take care of the, the cost, cost like fee of sending money. So we recommend credit card if it's possible. In the end, let me share where you can check Yuko's artwork on our webpage. First, please open our website webpage. Here it is. Uh, yeah. The, which you can access from your YouTube or yeah from our YouTube channel profile page. Next, copy this URL. So like for example, copy this and open the Google Translate like this. So after you paste our homepage URL to here, uh, then click the URL which appears to the translated box. So this blue box. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, you can translate the homepage in your favorite language. Like for example, here at the right box, choose the language that you want to translate. For example, in English, I choose, but like Chinese or I don't know, like French, anything you can choose. So after this, please scroll down, then you will see this icon, like artist icon, and here it's written artist, so please click here. Then you'll see the wonderful artist who taking a part of this gallery, and here it is, Yuko Iwase, her face, click here. Then you can see her short bio and like SNS account and scroll down. Then you'll see here, see more works. So why, why you're not clicking? So click here. <laughs> so then you, <laughs> my God, so long, so long. So there's all, all works are created by Yuko Iwase. And yeah, so wonderful. So for example, I click here. Then you'll see the details of her artworks and some photo. So main angle, oops, main angle photographs and like, and close up how to, put on the wall and how bag looks like and also scrolling down you'll see price and like details more and click here contact us then the form will open then you'll see like if you want to buy the artwork you have to like fill in these forms like important information like where you want us to deliver your artworks and so on so after you fill all the form please press the send button that's all so then, yeah, uh, in the end, uh, I will reply to you in five working days. 
so that's all that's all yeah so yeah thanks for watching this video again and looking forward to hearing from you soon this is Wutami Matsuoka from Picaresco Art Gallery so yeah have a nice day thanks for watching